Welcome to this Tobacco University video where we're going to be looking at fluorescent lighting options for cannabis production. If you've been considering fluorescent lights, let's get into some of the details so you can make an informed decision. So the best use for fluorescent lights. Uh, fluorescent grow lights are best known for their propagation abilities, especially when it comes to cannabis, simply due to their overall low light intensities. They can be used for the full grow cycle on low light demanding crops like lettuce, but is not advised for cannabis. They're commonly used for the clones, seedling, and young plant stages of cannabis production, as we can see here of them over the easy clone. Now they're best utilized when plants are small, so fluorescent tubes can cover the specific area of the young plants. This will cut down on the square footage space and can help growers maximize their propagation space and potentially save money on electrical costs. These lights can also emit a full spectrum or favor blue or potentially red wavelengths to help control the height of the plants as well. Blue color favoring will help keep the plants small and compact by making sure the internodes are as tight as possible. Red light will have a tendency to have them stretch. We see that here, just a quick little example. Now using fluorescent lights, so when we're going through and using them, the grow lights have low heat output and low light intensities when compared to CMH, ceramic metal halides, HPS, high pressure sodiums, and LED light emitting diode options. The distance between lights and plants will vary based on the exact type of fluorescent that is selected, but for a good starting point is to leave them about six inches or 15 centimeters away from the plants. The lights should be on adjustable hangers so that the distance can be maintained or adjusted as the plants grow. As the plants grow, you wanna maintain that same distance. Having a large space will cause plants to stretch and become light deprived. So that's why you want those lights to be as close as possible without causing any negative effects such as plant burning. Now, how many hours uh, should you be running the fluorescent lights? Well, since these should only be used during the vegetative growth, the photo period should be kept 16, most growers favor 18 hours plus. However, due to poor light intensities, growers should be running these lights 20 to 24 hours to keep the DLI as high as possible, especially for cannabis, which is a high light tolerant plant. So simply because they produce such um, low intensity light, running them for longer will allow the accumulation of energy over the total day to be a little bit greater. So this is where growers may wanna choose to run their lights 20 or tw even 24 hours um, a day. Now, there's two types of fluorescent light options. They, um, they are the T5 grow lights and the compact fluorescent light or CFLs. For plant production, T5s are the option that should be considered. T5 grow lights offer many advantages over the CFLs in the sense that they're easier to set up, more efficient operation, the bulbs last longer, uh, but also be sure as a grower that you're using also a T5 ballast is being used. And there are certain manufacturers, I'll cover that in a separate video, but certain manufacturers you might wanna look at or consider. But if you're going the fluorescent light uh, option, you wanna be, for plant production, you wanna make sure you're looking specifically at comparison of T5 lights.